A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you a CSS trick in HTML CSS trick. Guys I thought uh, is there some way I can actually create a, a bulleted list and an unordered list without actually using an image. I wanted to use a custom bullet but at the same time I gave myself a challenge I thought no I wouldn't want to use an image I would want to accomplish the same thing without using an image and let's see how I actually did that right uh, the first thing uh, that I wish to do is let me insert a div tag so insert layout objects div tag let me give it an idea of bullets click on the new CSS rule rather just say okay straight away that's fine and then let me type in para 1 para 2 para 3 out here alright let's check the code view out after collapsing some text guys now guys these are the opening and the closing body tags and you know that everything that is inside the body tags is actually what is visible these are the opening and closing div tags so we have a division inside which we have three paragraphs para 1, para 2 and para 3 as the text cool now guys uh, what I'm gonna do is using the colon before pseudo element I'm gonna create a bullet a custom bullet let's see how I actually accomplished that right let me uh, select any one of these uh, paragraphs let me click on the plus button automatically the contextual selector is uh, compound and uh, the selector name is uh, pound sign bullets space p what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a colon before out here okay so this selector name will apply your rule to all paragraph element that are within any HTML elements with the ID bullets now what is the pseudo element colon before do it actually inserts some content before the paragraph and when I say some content it could either be a picture or it could be some text both are acceptable but it's some content it's like a prefix okay we'll soon see what I mean let me say okay and guys straight away say okay because I'll be hand coding the rule out right let me uh, expand everything the way it was earlier okay now guys this is the rule okay which I want to hand code as I said uh, we are set out to create a custom bullet without actually using any image at all let's see how I did that the first thing that I wish to do is add in some content as I said the colon before pseudo selector pseudo element rather adds content before the paragraph tag in this case it could be any other element that it could have added uh, as a prefix some content a picture or a text but here it's a paragraph so content and then let me say um, in uh, inverted quotes the at the rate sign and uh, let me say a semicolon let me take a live view and see what's happened guys uh, I have uh, I have the at the rate sign before each and every paragraph. Now all the three paragraphs prefix uh, themselves by this at the rate symbol. Cool. Next what? Next guys, uh, let me say, let me continue with my hand coding and then I'm going to say a background color of burly wood. and uh, see what's happened here all right let me continue and let me say color and uh, Bollywood once again so let me copy and let me paste it out here put a semicolon and let's write so it's kind of turning itself into a square but isn't the square a little big um, uh, it's more like a rectangle and it's a little bigger in size so let me control that using the font size now so let's say a font size 10px 
let's see how it's turning uh, let me uh, try 12 hmm, 12 is fine now mm, let me give it a border let's go with border solid thin brown right cool uh, it's getting better and better fine now then we have the problem of fixing the margins so let me fix the margin let me say margin right let me say uh, a zero zero space uh, 5 px space 0 and 5 px so on the left and uh, right hand side guys I have added some margin to the content right let's see what's happened right uh, that's much better I think I need to drop the font size to an 11 cool right in fact uh, let me uh, take the right margin from a 5 px to something like a 10 px oh that was the the left margin beg your pardon I need to change the right margin right that's much better and guys see the best part about this uh, bulleted list that I've created is I can change the color whenever I wish to do so using the background color and the foreground color I can change the font size and make the bullet a little smaller I can change the the border guys I'm not saying that you should approach the um, the bulleted list in this manner but then again uh, this was just a CSS trick and uh, an attempt to tell you how powerful uh, pseudo elements could be uh, there are numerous ways in which uh, they could be used and this was uh, just one uh, different way I thought I'd let you know so I'll see you next time with yet another review tutorial you have a good day bye bye peace